Okay, hello boys and girls. This is day two of grammar. Um, you're welcome to read along with me or just be a great listener. At the top, we have names for people, animal, places, and things. A noun is a noun that names a special person. Okay, so we know a special person or an animal, place, or a thing. Whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Here we go. Let's try to do that again. A noun that names a special person, an animal, a place, or a thing is what? A proper noun. Good. Each word in a proper noun begins with a capital letter, okay? We kind of worked with this um, yesterday, but let's look at some other examples. My friend Nina North lives on Oak Street. Okay, look at these. We have two proper nouns. Nina North, that is her first and last name, and we have the street name, okay, the Oak Street. These are both specific things. Nina North is a specific person, a special person, and our Oak Street is a specific or a special street. Okay, let's look at our next one. She takes her dog, Bingo, to King's Park. Okay, notice this is a person. We have Bingo as our person. He needs a capital letter. And King's Park is our place. Okay, that's where we're going specifically. We didn't just say she takes her dog to the park, right? We told we told you more detail. We told you exactly what park. Okay, and more detail is always good in our writing, right? Let's look at some more examples. The first word of a sentence also begins with the capital letter. A capital letter is always used for the pronoun I, okay? So, for example... Some dogs do not like to play. Our, our start of our sentence or statement, boys and girls, has to have a capital letter. And it has to have a period. Okay? Let's look at our second sentence. May my friend and I pet your puppy? I like how they used a question mark here. That's when we need to ask a question. Okay? We have a capital letter at the beginning. And I also see this word I right here. Okay? It told us that whenever we use the word I anywhere in our writing... At the beginning, the middle, the end, you have to capitalize that, that word, I. Even though we know it's a letter, it's also a word, okay? Um, and I know this is a lot, you guys. We're just doing this together. We will revisit these um, later on in the week, okay? It says, identify, I'm at the top right here. Identify each proper noun that names a special person, animal, place, or thing. Okay, so number one, I saw my friend Ann Peters today. Who is the proper noun? Who's the special person? Ann Peters. Okay, we can see she has a capital A and a capital P for her first and last name. Number two, she has a cat named Muffin. Okay, so why did they not capitalize cat? Because it's a common noun. It's a common noun, right? It, we don't know what specific cat until we get to the end. And our specific cat's name is Muffin. It's a special person. So it has to be capitalized with a capital M. Number three. We went to Pet Stop to buy Muffin a toy. Okay, so these have two proper nouns in them. Can you find those two proper nouns? Okay, the first one is the pet stop. Why are these capitalized? P and S. Why are they capitalized? The pet stop. Because it is a specific or a special place, just like we said. And then we also know muffin down here. Sorry. We know muffin is a proper noun as well because that's the name of our cat. Okay, really great job. Let's do these together as well. Tell which words in each sentence should begin with or be capital letter. Well, look, boys and girls, we know the beginning of each sentence needs a capital letter. This big W, this C needs a capital letter, and this H needs a capital letter. Okay, it's starting off with our sentence. It looks kind of funky, right? It looks like a, not a complete sentence or statement because it doesn't have a capital letter. Okay, let's keep reading. Number one. When my dog Daisy gets a treat, she is so happy. Okay? It says when my dog Daisy. So should Daisy be capitalized? <gasps> yes, Daisy should. That's a specific name of her dog, right? Let's look at number two. 
I'm not sure how to say that. Chitan and I walked to Main Street yesterday. Okay, what looks a little different to you? What looks off? This I. It's really sticking out, out to me. Excuse me. I know the I needs to always be capitalized in our writing. Even anywhere that our, we have an I, it needs to be capitalized. Okay? What else needs to be capitalized? Do you see another proper noun? Main Street. Good job. Main Street should be capitalized. It's telling us exactly where we're going, exactly what street, the name of it, okay? Last one. Have you eaten at Taco Town? Okay, we know our beginning has to have a capital H, right? We know that. Have you eaten at Taco Town? Okay, does this seem like it could be the name of a place? It is. So taco needs to be capitalized and town. This is a specific place, a specific place to go to. All right. It's, we're going to do this one together as well. Okay. It says names for people, animals, places, and things. If you want to, you can take up and take, get up and take a wiggle break really quick. I'm going to get up. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle your arms. Wiggle your elbows. Wiggle your knees. All right. Okay, we're going to do these together as well. You ready? All right. A proper noun, we know, names a special person, animal, place, or thing. And we also know it begins with a capital letter. So let's look at these examples. It tells me the instructions, always important to read instructions. Circle each proper noun that names a special person or animal. Okay, so number one, did you help Kim make dinner? Who's the proper noun, the special person? Kim, good job, we know her name is capitalized, right? Number two, it is time for Stanley to go to bed. Okay, who's our proper noun, who's our special person? Stanley, good job. So anytime in our writing when we're naming our friends, or, excuse me, or adults, you need to have their name capitalized. Oh, I got the hiccups. Miley's fish, Bubbles, is blue and yellow. So what's that special person? Blue? Bubbles? <gasps> yes, Bubbles is a special person. That's the fish or animal. And then who's the special person? Who owns Bubbles? Miley. Good job. I'm going to circle Miley, too. Okay, number four. There was a television show about a dog, a dog named Lassie. Has anyone ever seen the movie with the dog named Lassie? Maybe he might have. So, what is a special person or animal? Lassie. That's our special dog, isn't it? Lassie. That's her name. It has to be capitalized. Okay. Very last one. Number five. Please give Asia this note. Okay, who's the special person? Aisha. We know it's capitalized, right? All of our names are capitalized. Really great job. And we're going to do this last one together for extra practice, okay? Circle each proper noun that names a special place or thing, okay? Number six says the new school is on Tanner Drive. What's the proper noun, boys and girls? Where do you see the capital letters? At the beginning, and then Tanner Drive is our proper noun. Good job. Number seven, the Smith Museum was has, I'm sorry, the Smith Museum has beautiful art. So what is our um, proper noun? The Smith Museum. That's what it is called. That's very specific. Okay, I'm going to let you do eight, nine, and ten um, on your own. You can go ahead and pause the video. Just look for the proper nouns, the capitalizations. You do not have to do this on a piece of paper. I just want you to look for them for me, okay? Do that on your own. You did a great job today.